al-Qaeda to Morsi, mm -hmm. execute all Christians and secularists who oppose Sharia. The trial of Morsi is coming up. This is going to be fascinating, yeah. and if that's a word to use, mm -hmm. scary. But telephone recordings between Morsi and Muhammad Zah Zawahiri, the al-Qaeda leader, uh, Ayman Zawahiri's brother, mm -hmm. They were talking to each other, and quite a few things were revealed in that conversation. This is going to come up in trial. What I'm interested in is if Morsi's talking to Al-Qaeda and Obama is supporting Morsi, Morsi, what does all of this mean? Let's start with Anne-Marie. I think it, that's exactly what it means. I don't believe for one moment that Obama didn't know that the Muslim Brotherhood or Al-Qaeda had plans to kill Christians or anyone else who isn't mm -hmm. Al-Qaeda, who isn't Muslim. It's It's what they are it's what they do they anyone who exists and doesn't agree with what they are a hundred percent they're supposed to kill them right well, this and that, is are these the rules well this is incredible what Morsi was saying in that conversation because well, yeah. he's saying yes yes we're going to get around to doing all of this and, and, and uh, I think that they absolutely would have and they were mm -hmm. killing but Obama Baptists. is enabling and supporting this element Tommy well you know I, I wonder if Obama <laughs> is kind of a uh, being very, very kind of stabbing the Muslim Brotherhood in the back because remember he sent the Egyptian military 200 uh, Abrams tanks and 20 F-16s and then immediately once they were empowered with all this armor they overthrew the Muslim Brotherhood so hey Muslim Brotherhood looks like your buddy stabbed you in the back but there. I don't think that he did it <laughs> intentionally knowing that the military would do that. Well ain't it beautiful how it ended up though? Okay Dwight? Yes um, well, it, it's impossible to believe that Obama didn't know, because as Ayman Zawahiri was one of the original members of the Brotherhood, uh, his brother is a member of the Brotherhood, and the Brotherhood is Al-Qaeda. I mean, that's it. That, that's really the, the fact. And uh, a lot of people bring, well, but look how he supports Hezbollah, and how he has supported uh, the Iranians. Well, the, the point is, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And who, do, who does Hezbollah, who have they... Uh, claim that they're going to destroy and and who has the Brotherhood said they're going to destroy they both said they're going to destroy the United States and Israel and who is the enemy of Barack Obama by this definition if he supports both the United States is his enemy and I think all everything he's doing domestically and everything that he's done internationally indicates that that is the case Thank you, Dwight. Let's quickly move on. Anne-Marie, I give you the choice of talking about Obama's brother wearing a terrorist scarf and something that's said on it, or Hillary greatly regretting Benghazi in a oh. recent interview. Which one do you want to go with? Well, first of all, okay, Obama's brother. Let's go. If, Malik Obama. If George W. Bush's brother had, if we found out that his brother was the grand poobah of the KKK, it would have been headline news. People mm -hmm. would have been furious. And as far as Hillary goes, the only thing she regrets is that they won't leave it alone, that people like us mm -hmm. won't stop talking about Benghazi because mm -hmm. she regrets that it's, it's affecting her 2016 run. That's the only thing she regrets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Tommy, uh, let's go to Malik uh, Obama. What a great point by Anne Marie yes. that, uh, you know, this guy wants the destruction of Israel. He's associated with the Muslim Brotherhood. Why the silence of our media, etc. Or if FDR's well, brother had, right. had been a, a Nazi. But why it is it Obama pressured, at least by the media or even by his own well, conscience, media, to separate well, himself from his brother? The media have, have most, not all of the media, but so many journalists have sold their journalistic integrity and have become so extremely biased, so extremely politically motivated. They only report positive things mm -hmm. on the administration and only negative things on those who oppose the administration they have sold their journalistic integrity just just mm -hmm. sold it out and but they still refer to themselves as journalists mm -hmm. i'm not referring to all of the media but a large majority of definitely the mainstream media so it's no surprise you know Malik Obama doesn't end up in the news. Nothing, nothing negative towards the administration ever ends up in the news. Right. And sure. those who oppose the administration, nothing positive ever ends up in they, the mainstream. They call it the non-Fox News now. Um, well, right? well, just this little bit of uh, tidbit, you know, Lois Lerner uh, granted him a 501c3 status. Uh, and, and, for the, and it's unheard of 
but she allowed him uh, retroactively to claim uh, donations back to 2008 when he uh, really submitted uh, his um, organization for uh, 503C 503 status in 2011. And of course, Lo Lois Lerner, it was only 30 days, 30 days. This and he, was, he, and he and he was under um, a suspicion of fraud abroad. <laughs> uh, but in 30 days he got it. But here we have how many? 40 organizations in, from the Tea Party mm -hmm. um, unable to get the same status through Lo Lois Lerner and the IRS. And uh, when asked about it today or yesterday, our uh, Attorney General just didn't know anything about it, anything that he could speak about. It just just doesn't know anything. And Chuck Schumer saying that, yeah. that, that they haven't done enough.